Hey, oh, I've got this box of Remint. They are Rilakkuma, and they are Happy Little Book. The reason I had to get these, although I got them uh, a couple years ago, but the reason I had to get them is because they're little book dioramas, and I had made a little book diorama, and it's like, here's this little book out of foam board, and then you open it up, and it's Mr. Buttle's friend, Wormy. It's his little hangout here. So it's just little paper crafts I like making that I put on MrButtles.com. This one is not on MrButtles.com quite yet. Uh, it will be in coming months. But anyway, just had to show why I am in love with this particular remint case. So you guys had asked for more remints, so... I am going to show you more. And these are all the different ones that we can get. Like I say, anything to do with like a little diorama, a little secret hideout or something unexpected is just, I've, I've loved this stuff since I was a kid and I just think it is so adorable. Uh, so we have a full case. We're going to get all of them. Obviously, I have opened these because I got them a couple years ago before I started the channel. But let's see which one we get first. So we have the Playroom Story. This is volume five. This is what the outside looks like. Then you open it up. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I adore things like this. Um, so that's what it looks like in the Playroom. And then when it was new, these accessories came wrapped in uh, little plastic bags. Um, so let's take a look at the little pieces. So here's the little teddy bear drawer. I, I just love that, that you can actually put things in there. Um, then here's the R drawer for Rila, and the K drawer for Kuma, and Kuma means bear. Is that correct? I think, I think Kuma means bear in Japanese. I don't know, I should have looked that up first. Uh, but then we have this cute little chair so that goes right there. And there's, I think that, is that Kori Um, I don't remember. Again, uh, Mary Bear, she has a really cool YouTube channel. Um, I'll link to it below. But she knows all the names and, and everything about all these characters. And I forget what that little guy's name is, but look at how cute he is. Um, let's put him in the chair. I'm trying to get a better light in there so you can see. And then here's the tiny little toy. What's so cute is you can put it in, in the little toy box or you can just have it sitting there. And then there's this little guy, but I think I might have put him put this back in the wrong box because I don't see this on the side of the box and I, I think it might go to something else. So I don't know. As we open more, we will find out. Okay, let's see what the second one is. We've got the bedroom story. Pretty adorable. And here is the inside. So there's the bedroom. How cute is that? You got the little loft up there. Um, this, yeah. Oh, I thought I thought it was attached. I guess not. So uh, this would have been wrapped uh, separately, but that looks like a little, uh, uh, well, not a bean bag, but a little cushion, I guess. So let's check out all the little pieces that came with it. And of course, these were these were wrapped individually originally, but we have a little toy tote or clothes tote, I should say. All the toys were in the toy room, so that goes down there. And then look at how cute Rilakkuma is. Oh, he's so adorable. He's just sitting up there in his little bed. Then we have, I'm going to keep calling her Ko Rilakkuma, but I don't know if that's correct. It might not be. Uh, I think, okay, this little cushion has indents for uh, Rilakkuma to go here. And then she is the one that is sleeping up in the bed or the loft. And look at how cute this is. This is a little blanket that goes over her. And this is her little pillow. Okay, look at how cute she is sleeping there. <laughs> And then this, this is a little creepy. It's like uh, he's got his uh, skin hanging on a uh, hanger, but I'm just gonna say it's a little bear suit to like go over the one he has for really cold days or something. So let's uh, hang that up there. And then we have the little loft ladder. Oh, 
Look at how adorable that is. All right, next up, I put this, I put my camera a little bit lower. Hopefully that makes it a little easier to see, but here's the living story, which I think they mean uh, living room. So this is what the living room looks like. Oh, that must have been, that was a separate item too um, when it was first brand new, but there's the cute little living room. And when I get in closer there so you can see all the details, it's just adorable. Here's a little beanbag chair. And then let's take a look at all the little other items that were originally wrapped. So here's Real Akuma just lounging around in his beanbag chair. That's what he looks like up close. Then look at this adorable little TV. So cute. Put that in the living room. And then he's got a helpful little friend. She's dusting. Okay, look at how adorable that is. She's actually dusting the lamp. Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. We've got another yellow one and it is the dresser story. So inside we will have a little dresser. Uh, so there's the cute little window, and then here is all the little teeny weeny little pieces. Okay, so there's Real Akuma putting his bear hat on. It's pretty adorable. Here's his little clothes rack or hanger, and then the tiny little hat goes on there. And of course he needs a mirror to see himself. Oh, I hope this didn't break. Um... Well, I don't know if it broke or not, but I think it should still work. Then here's his little potted plant. So cute. And his little buddy. If anybody knows his name, please let me know. I should have looked it up before I started filming. So there is the dressing room. Super adorable. All right, second to last one. And we've got the bathroom story. So this one will be pretty darn adorable. Um, oh, it looks like this would have come loose. Uh, so this is the little shower head. How cute is that? Little tile floor. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So there's the tile, or not the tile, the, uh, the shower. Little shower head goes right there. Let's dump out all the other little pieces. Oh my gosh, the little tub. So cute. And you know what? Yeah, I see a little piece of soap here. So this must have been the soap dish that I had put in the wrong uh, in the wrong box prior. So here's the little Rilakkuma tub. And then, oh, cute! <laughs> it's a little tail sticking out. So there, uh, there's... Uh, oh, okay. So, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that he comes out. Isn't that funny? It's been a while since I've opened these. Um, so he's in the little, or she is in the cute little bubble bath. And then the little buddy, the little duck's in the bubble bath too. Oh, how cute are they? So let's put them in there. And here is the minuscule bar of soap. And yes, this was the soap dish. So this will go back in there. And you know what? I feel like I need a tweezers to be, <laughs> to be able to get that. Okay, so here's the little bathroom scene. It's so <laughs> cute. Okay, this is the last one. And it is gardening story. Oh my gosh, that's right. Now I remembered this one. Look at how cute that is. You've got the little uh, cobblestone brick uh, patio with the little grass and uh, the cute little shrub. And oh my gosh, this is adorable. So let's get the teeny weeny little pieces out here. And we've got Rilakkuma with his little, I think it's, is that a spade? I think you can tell I don't garden. Um, I'm not quite sure, but with his little whatever it is. And then we have this cute little basket, and that is where his little buddy goes. He's got the little watering can. So he goes in this cute little basket. And check this out. There's a little hook there for him to, to hang on. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then... We have a little little sign, Nunbiri Garden. I don't know what that means, uh, but that goes on this little hook. And then, of course, we need some things for them to garden. We've got the 
this adorable little plant. Oh, and look at this. Is this a topiary or topiary? Is that how you say it? Oh, I love these. Uh, you get, let me know. Um, I do not, so many things that I don't know. It's crazy, but I love it when you guys clue me in and, and uh, help me out in the comments. There's the little garden scene. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Let's take one last look at all of them that we just opened. They're all adorable. Looks like the little mirror fell. I'll, I should be able to glue that piece though. There's a cute little garden, bathroom, and the little playroom. Uh, so as far as my favorite, it's really going to be difficult to choose because they're all adorable. But I think maybe either the playroom because of all the little boxes that actually open or maybe the loft because I just think it's cool that there's two levels in that tiny little thing. Um, but at the same time, the garden is super adorable and so is the bubble bath and so is everything. So basically, I just chose all of them as my favorite favorite but let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time